Welcome to our first TC webinar for 2015. Uh, today's show will run for about 20 minutes and I hope by the end of the show you will have further information about who we are um, at Travel Counselors. So throughout the show, um, please don't hesitate to email through any questions. Uh, the email address is webinar at travelcounselors.com.au. So um, to, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our General Manager, Tracy Parkinson. Um, hi, Tracy. <laughs> hi, Karen. How are you? Yeah, great, thank Good. you. Thank you very much for coming on um, uh, our webinar. Um, I thought just for um, the new people that haven't uh, watched any of our webinars before, um, that we would just ask a couple of questions, I guess, in general, um, about what makes us different in the industry. Okay. Um, so I just wanted to start off with the first question. Um, last year, 2014, we've had a really successful year in travel counsellors, not only in Australia but globally, so we celebrated our 20th year anniversary and also we awarded the uh, our second Queen's Award for uh, Enterprise. So as General Manager, I just wanted to ask how you feel we've become so successful. Okay, well I've not prepared for any of these questions, so this is really um, <laughs> off the cuff. So, um, I've worked for the company uh, for 15 years, and as, as you said, we've um, been operating for 20 years as a whole. Um, and I think part of the success um, over that time is because we've really stuck by our values that were set um, 20 years ago um, by our our founder David Speetman and and during that time although we've grown we've never lost that identity um, we still know all of our travel counselors um, by name um, we still have a relationship we have the tagline with us it's personal and and that is um, absolutely true throughout throughout the business um, there's no one that is uncontactable um, anybody within the business from head office to um, travel counselors can pick up the phone webcam any of the directors David himself myself um, any of the team and each other worldwide so we, we've really kept um, the family feel in quite a global company and I think that that was probably quite um, a tough thing to do when we started to expand into other um, countries because with that comes different um, challenges within each industry um, but regardless of where we operate all of that still stands it's still um, very personable it's still very much a family but each country operates under all of, of those guidelines yeah. and I think I think that to be honest is is what it is um, I think everybody from whoever you are has got the passion for for doing the right thing for our travel counsellors yeah. um, and that's what I love everybody goes above and beyond um, it's not just a job for any of our head office staff yeah. um, which then makes it a successful career for all of our travel counsellors so um, I think the fact that we we celebrate everybody's successes um, really makes us different yeah. um, and I think that's what's what's kept us going and will continue to keep us going for another 20 years yeah. because I don't think any of that will ever change. Well that's actually following on from my next question is here in 2014 in Australia we had our best figures in terms of new agents joining our business and we've also seen the growth of our existing travel counsellors that their businesses have also grown year on year um, and just you know I wanted to ask what you feel contributes to having such a success. Um, well I think definitely the support that we we offer um, I mean as I say we look at every travel counsellor as an individual yeah. um, and we help them build up the business um, based on what they can do so so what opportunities do they have as an individual and we really do everybody um, in the the team in Melbourne but also in our global office as well gets to know our travel counsellors personally um, and I think that's what really has contributed so whereas um, some other companies do a one-size-fits-all and, and in fact don't actually offer the support that we give we do look at everybody individually and think right okay 
um, this travel counsellor is not comfortable public speaking so we're not going to suggest doing that but then they have these great opportunities in their everyday life so we've really capitalised in on each person as an individual to enhance their success um, and then I, I also think I mean that that's for our existing travel counsellors who have had an exceptional year yeah. as a company we have taken on more travel counsellors and I think that's great but I think that's because um, we don't take on everybody and you know that better yeah. um, you know we, we get to know people that apply and we would never offer somebody the job just to get a number in if we don't feel that it's right for them or for us yeah. we will turn them away um, so that we are getting now recognized in the industry as being the professionals absolutely I mean um, when I'm doing the recruitment it's uh, very much not just about being the top consultant out there in the industry it comes with a lot of other focus in terms of uh, matching with the right company um, because it is a long-term business that they are building this is not just a stopgap try out working maybe from you know um, running your own business so we do you know invest in heavily in making sure that we we, we could, I guess bring on the right people um, so again Again, that follows me on to um, the, the next question in terms of how you see travel counsellors in the industry. Um, you know, sometimes we've seen in the trade press that people say home-based, home-based, but really we see ourselves as a travel agency group. Um, you know, do you get that often when you're out at industry events? We do. I mean, I, I work quite closely with um, the trade and um, we, we clearly are a home-based company, there's no doubt about that um, but when people ask about um, other companies that are doing the same thing um, I try and steer us away from that and that's not because the other models are bad because they are absolutely exceptional but there are quite a few um, differences between us and other home working companies um, and the, the main difference is that our travel counsellors are full time professionals running a franchise yeah. so it's a successful um, company that they are actually running that is building value, you know any time they could go on and take that with them and sell it on to another travel counsellor if they wanted to. Um, so when, when asked about our competition, I actually put us into the arena with your bricks and mortar agents yeah. um, because the way I see it, it doesn't matter where our, our agents are working from, it doesn't matter if they're working from home or in a shop, they're offering exceptional service to their customers, yeah. professional service and full time. Um, so, so I have been working with the industry on that and the suppliers that we deal with, that that's, that's who we are working professional agents um, in the industry um, that have come from a bricks and mortar shop that's yeah. that's where they come from running their own successful business there and have, have transitioned because of overhead costs and, yeah. and things like that um, so so that's where I position okay. us in right. the market. No, that's fantastic. Um, and then the last question I have for you, um, 2015, we've mm -hmm. entered into our new year. We're all very excited here at Head Office yes. about um, you know, the year ahead. Can you give, um, I guess, any perspectives watching what our travel councils have got to look forward to in the next okay. coming 12 months? <laughs> um, well, I can't give everything away because we have our up and coming conference in about um, six weeks which we are going to launch quite a lot of new yes. technology at that um, which we are very excited about and I'll give a little bit of a hint on that but it's the technology that we are giving is unheard of in the Australian industry so I'm very proud yes <laughs> very exciting and you're right the air of excitement within the the office and the travel counsellors is is bizarre because everybody knows that 2015 is going to be exceptional for us um, and the kind of things that we're doing um, we have got our conference coming up um, at the end of February in Canberra so we're really excited about that um, we have put together quite an intensive training uh, road show for our travel counsellors so we're going out on the road doing face-to-face -face training uh, and that's 
That's um, skills training, so everything that we will be delivering is to enhance the Travel Council themselves um, and the business, um, so we're really excited about that. Right. Then on top of that, we're working with our suppliers to provide product training, so we'll be doing training days on cruising, um, on airlines, river cruising, all of, of all that kind of thing. Um, so we're, we're really, really excited for 2015 and possibly on the next recruitment webinar I'll be able to talk a little bit more about what it holds for <laughs> us um, but all I can say is watch this space because it is absolutely exceptional. Wow, wonderful. <laughs> well thank you very much for taking the time, um, I know how busy you are, to, to do the webinar for me today. And what I might do now is just cross over, we have um, a wonderful new brand video I'd like you to have a look at. Twenty years ago, we predicted the future. We predicted that technology was going to make the travel industry very impersonal. We recognized that holidaymakers and business travelers would find it more and more difficult to find travel professionals that genuinely cared about them. So whilst everybody else set about building their fancy e-commerce websites, attractive shops and enormous call centers, we set about building something very different. We built a travel company for a different future, a better future. One based on relationships, repeat bookings, trust and referrals. Where customer service is at the forefront and where dreams are fulfilled. Our company is called Travel Counselors. 20 years later, our unique approach could not be more relevant than it is today. With 1,300 friendly and professional travel experts in eight countries around the world, we get to know our customers personally, their individual needs, wants and desires, their aspirations and dreams. Our thousands of customers love this approach because their personal travel counsellor really genuinely cares. All of this makes us more than a little different from the rest and that's what keeps holiday makers and business travellers coming back to us again and again. With a world-beating customer satisfaction score of 96%, it's not surprising our business has grown every single year since we recruited our very first travel counsellor in 1994. By attracting the very best travel professionals, giving them the best technology, the best support and the freedom to choose how they want to work, we deliver a level of personal service that is quite simply unmatched. And better still, we're the only travel company to 100% protect our customers' money. No exceptions, no excuses, it's protected, no matter what. So our customers get the personal service they deserve. And Travel Counselors goes from strength to strength. Which is why we keep winning awards. In 2003, we were the first and still the only UK travel agency to receive the Queen's Award for Innovation. And in 2014, we are really proud to have received the Queen's Award again. This time in recognition of our international growth. We believe that our customers' travel plans deserve more respect than staring at a screen and ticking a few boxes. After all, it's about fulfilling dreams and creating lasting memories, isn't it? We are travel counsellors. We'd love to meet you. Welcome back everybody, that was a fantastic look at our brand new brand video there for Travel Counselors. So my name's Jonathan, I'm Commercial Executive of Travel Counselors Australia and I just want to run through a few little things about my role at Travel Counselors Australia and obviously the commercial relationships that we do have throughout the business. So my role I guess is, uh, is, is one that is quite varied on a day to day, so it can vary from helping out with a supplier issue, a, a client could be stuck in resort, it could be that they've um, gotten to a resort and the room type isn't as described or something has gone wrong there and, and I'm always there to be able to help you every step of the way so whether it's an issue with the supplier or a hotel anything like that we're always on board to be able to help you out we're also here to be able to help you um, I guess have that commercial advantage with any suppliers that you do use so we do all of your contracting commercially for you and obviously try and get the most premium commission levels so at the end of the day you do have more money in your pocket 
We, as, uh, as travel counsellors, we're very passionate about, obviously, making more money for you. And, and one of the big things that uh, we do have in our system is our Phoenix, uh, Phoenix program, which is a technology platform designed to give you more money in your pocket and make you more of a wholesaler rather than a retail agent. So rather than picking your product off the shelf out of a brochure and just giving your clients a stock standard seven night kind of stuff that you do find in, in more of your bricks and mortar retail agents, you're providing your clients with these unbeatable experiences, these experiences that are gonna make them come back and be your absolute favorite clients for life. So our Phoenix technology platform is there to design, um, I guess, those itineraries from start to finish, whether that's flights, accommodation, transfers, car hire, giving you the complete package to be able to load through with our system. We also do work with a lot of, uh, I guess, external retail suppliers as well. And the relationships that we do have with those suppliers are absolutely top notch. So we're always well regarded, as Tracy and Karen said before. Whenever our suppliers talk about our travel councillors, it's always in such a positive light. And we'd love for them to be able to um, obviously pass on any for mills, any kind of, um, I guess, deals, offers, things like that, we do have full access to. So what we'll have a look at is a couple of pictures of some of the amazing dedicated for mills that we've been on over the last 12 months. So you'll be able to see a couple of photos up on your screen now. We'll have our uh, Celebrity Solstice. We had six of our lovely ladies um, on Celebrity Solstice for eight nights earlier in 2014. We also had eight agents over to Sabah, with thanks to Sabah Tourism, um, heading over and seeing a destination that is absolutely second to none. And uh, that was also with thanks to Royal Brunei Airlines. And also having a look at our 20 year conference celebration, we had a massive big Famil program with that pre-conference. So we had an APT river cruise, a Globus coach tour, and a destination based itinerary throughout Abu Dhabi and Dubai. So some amazing Famils that we'd love for you if you did join Travel Council to be a part of every single one of those for mills along the way. There are a lot of opportunities that we do get. So all of our external supplier partners absolutely love us, absolutely love all of the TCs that we do work with. So it's a great opportunity for you to be able to become a travel counselor and experience some amazing for mills and, um, and obviously work very, very closely with our external partners. But as I said earlier, we're very, very passionate about our Phoenix technology platform and it will become one of the biggest parts, I guess, of your consulting um, uh, life when, when working with travel counsellors. And, and what the Phoenix technology platform is, is, is it's uh, there for you, like I said before, to become more of a wholesaler. So what we've gone through and we've had a look at a few different uh, scenarios there with uh, some external retail suppliers. So we do know and love these suppliers and we do work with them very closely. But I want to show you a few special examples of how the Phoenix system can work to your advantage and ultimately lead to more money in your pocket. So I'll put up a couple of slides now just with some figures. Now, what I've got first up are some hotel only rates. So what we do have is the Radisson Blue in Fiji in a yard, garden courtyard rate. Uh, we have a net in Phoenix of $1,568 um, and a net with a supplier, which I won't name, uh, but we do have it listed there, a supply A of $2,696.99 and 96 cents. Now that equals a difference of $1,128. So that's a massive, massive difference um, that, uh, that Phoenix does have there straight off the bat for you to be able to provide your client with an amazing property, amazing service, and an amazing price point and earning you a massive, massive commission. So a great example there. We've got a couple up there as well that you can see some amazing differences. The Western Dinner Hour difference of $1,147 and the Fiji Beach Resort a difference of $1,289 as well. So some amazing price points there and Karen will go through a little bit later how that will equate to more money in your pocket at the end of the month when you do receive your commissions. What we'll also have a look at is some package holidays. So these are holidays that we package up with some amazing fares with thanks to uh, Jetstar, some Phoenix product, as well as um, all of that put together to be able to give you some amazing package rates that we do have. So having a look at that, we've got a Phoenix net with a seven night itinerary at the Royal Beach Seminyak with Jetstar of $3,421 and a net with a retail supplier of $3,909 for a difference of $488, so an amazing price point there. And looking at a couple of other examples, another seven night itinerary to Thailand, uh, a, a net difference of $119. 
and a 14 night um, Hawaiian itinerary as well with a net difference of $287. So an amazing difference there for you to be able to earn more money and ultimately have more money in your pocket at the end of the day. So it's a little bit of an insight into how the Phoenix system can work for you. It's a fantastic uh, system, a great technology platform, like I say, to be able to earn you more money at the end of the day. We absolutely love it and it's a system that we hope if you did join Travel Councils that you'll love too. Thanks, Jonathan, for going through all of that information about Phoenix and the relationships that we currently hold with our suppliers, which is really important uh, to our travel counsellors. Just following on from uh, what Jonathan meant, uh, was saying about putting money in your back pocket, that's really important. Um, we all understand that you know, you're in business um, for different reasons, um, but at the end of the day, really, you want to be able to uh, get as much out of the business as possible. So with Phoenix, um, what we've done is we've gone in and had a, um, a couple of put together a couple of packages just for you to be able to see the comparison in commission and what we mean by more money in your pocket. So for the first example, um, we've looked at a, at a, a package. It's the Radisson Blue in Fiji, seven nights accommodation only. Um, we've looked at supplier A in this example. Um, their gross selling price is $3,000. $1,136 for that package. Now, um, for supplier A, you'll be getting $440 uh, commission on that package. If, however, um, our travel counsellors went in and booked the same um, package through Phoenix, um, they'd be able to sell it at the same gross um, price, but with Phoenix, they'd be able to earn themselves considerably more commission. And as you can see, that's $1,568. Now that's a huge, huge difference. Um, we have, um, uh, these are just standard packages that you can actually go and have a look at. Um, these aren't specific things that we've had to search the system in depth to be able to find the comparison. So um, our travel councils are booking this on, on a daily basis. So just to give you a little of, uh, example in terms of commission split. Um, so if you were working for a different company and you were earning, um, you were getting 80% of your 440 of the uh, commission that was being paid to you by the supplier, that's only $352. If you were on a 70-30 split, um, the commission that you'd be getting from $440, that's only $308. But with travel counsellors, um, because we um, are with our special deals and um, negotiated rates that we have currently with our suppliers, you the 60% split of $1,568, that's a huge difference of $940. Um, so I hope you can see the, the, the large difference and where we talk about often, um, you know, you can earn more money with travel counsellors. This is what we're talking about. Um, these are, are really the, the figures to um, support that. So I'll keep carrying on and just give you a few examples of other, some other destinations. Um, so here on the second example, we're looking at the Royal Beach Hotel in Seminyak. Seven night package, including Jetstar flights. Again, we've looked at supplier A. Um, and their um, total package price gross selling is $4,201. Uh, you would be receiving $292. Um, but if, again, you were selling at the same price that was being offered by the supplier in the industry, a $4,201 sorry, 4 um, through Phoenix, you'd be earning $780 um, on your commission. So again, breaking it down, um, if you were on an 80-20 split commission of $292, you're only earning $233. Um, on a 70-30 split, on the same $292, $204. Um, with travel counsellors on the 60%, you're earning 60% of 780, which is 468. So again, that's a huge, a huge um, uh, commission that you'd be getting out. 
Next one we've got is Hilton Waikiki Beach in Hawaii and that's 14 nights um, including Jetstar flights. So um, again we've got on, these are all supplies that we deal with on a regular basis so uh, you know we've just gone into the systems and, and pulled this package out. Um, so with supplier A that's $6,569. The commission you'd be getting as standard industry would be $631. If you sold the same package package using Phoenix at the same gross price, your commission is $918. Now that's um, a great price comparison there. Um, on an 80% um, commission split, you'd only be getting $504. 70% you'd be getting um, $441. And with travel counselors, you'd be getting $550. Let's have a look at um, another one for Phuket. Here we've got the Centara Caron Resort in Phuket, again another seven night package including uh, flights, supplier A $1,941, $64 um, dollars as commission. Now if you were selling the same with Phoenix at the same price you'd be getting $216 uh, dollars commission so that's a, a huge difference there. On an 80% split um, uh, you would be getting $51 uh, out at the end of the day, 70-30 split you would be getting 44 and with travel counsellors you'd be getting 129. Um, so I'll just touch on the last one here just to show you that you know um, we've gone on and done a a number of different comparisons we haven't just used one example and the last one we've got here is for the Fiji Beach Resort um, in Fiji for seven nights um, and that's accommodation only we've got uh, through supplier A $4,039 for the seven nights your commission on that um, through the interest would be $566 but through Phoenix, you'd be getting a whopping $1,855. So at the end of the day, instead of earning on an 80% split $452 or on a 70 split $396, our travel counsellors will walk away with $1,113. So um, that's just a couple of examples that you can see on the um, slides that we've put up there for you. But within Phoenix, we contract 70,000 properties, global systems, not just purely Australia. Of course, we've used um, examples that are, you know, you, destinations that are booked a lot for the Australian market. But if you were looking to do a comparison for anywhere else in the world, we could provide you um, with these commissions. So at the end of the day, we, we really are you know um, telling you that you can earn more money with travel counsellors so I hope that you've enjoyed um, the show today uh, thank you to Tracy and Jonathan for coming on um, again if you've got any questions please don't hesitate to email me at webinar uh, at travelcounsellors.com.au also, just to let you know, we will be um, having our first discovery morning for 2015. That'll be taking place on the 12th of February. That's a morning uh, breakfast where we open up the head office. You can come in and have a look, meet the support team here. If you'd like to attend, please just contact me. I can register you for the event. Uh, if you're not Melbourne based, uh, we'll be out on the road as well. So please just make contact with me anytime and I can let you know where we'll be uh, closest to you and we can book something in. Thank you so much for watching. is the conference it is the highlight of our year i wanted to give my clients the personalized service that they deserve the best thing about being a travel counselor is the camaraderie i can't lie it just is it's all part of being part of the biggest family in the world isn't it i'm 20 years in and it just keeps getting bigger and better
superb evening, great entertainment. When we've gone to the comedian, I think we always laugh in off our seats, and then Russell Watson, well, what a voice. We've had a lovely night, and I have won a Shearing's holiday. I've had desserts from nearly all over the world. Thank you. I'm Vernon Kay and to be a part of the Travel Councillors Conference 2014 has been really special. The crowd are superb. Even though there's a conference, you know, there is a serious bit, but the fact that everyone gathers together on two nights and celebrates the fact that it's 20 years of the Travel Councillors. It's an amazing event and hopefully I'm coming back next year <laughs> when it's hosted in New Zealand or somewhere else. Happy anniversary, travel councillors. Here's to the next 20. 